Hi everyone, this is Terence Tan, the Impossible Investor. Now, uh, I'm going to do a market update over here for 15 of May. Uh, now, so what happened in yesterday's market trading was we have what we call the snapback rally. Uh, that's bound to happen, it's about to be expected over here when the market goes into a very short term period of a massive sell off. And yes, that's what we got yesterday as we saw the S&P rebounded uh, up over 40 points uh, midday over here. And you know, uh, what happened was the short term traders or the ones who were long for the day itself decided to take their profits if they have it uh, before the markets close. So we actually saw the markets coming off towards closing over here with the S&P 500 closing just up 20 points which is half uh, the gains of the session that they made yesterday. Now, so what's going to happen in today's session over here will be pretty much exciting uh, because nobody knows if we're going to see a follow through in terms of uh, a continuous up move for a second day or we're going to see another turnaround today and we're going to start seeing that selling off taking into place in the markets over here again. Now, but what has happened is as impossible investors, uh, I told my community over here to close out three transactions over here and in the process what we have done is we have freed up capital. Yeah, all right, we have figured out capital that, you know, if the market does turn again, all right, we can actually take advantage of the opportunity with free uh, capital that we have or, you know, pretty much simply put, we have cash right now that can be put to use. So this pretty much, you know, everything works out. As an option seller, many people keep asking, hey, Terrence, you know, if the market is down, if the market is selling off over here, can you still make gains? Yeah, all right, they forgot that, you know, in the stock market, it's all about the stocks. Yeah, all right, even when the market as a whole is coming off, it's crashing over here or, you know, what we see a massive correction in a very short time frame, not every stock is going to perform like that. Not every stock is going to go down as severely as many others. Now, so uh, we locked down a 24 hour turnaround trade on Nike Inc over here. It's done really well for us. Now, if Nike is going to come off today again, I'm probably going to look for another opportunity to get back in. All right, and who knows, I may be getting into the same expiry on Friday. That means with the same one-time capital over here, I would have got two returns uh, out of one single stock itself in a week. That's what we call a bonus trade over here when it comes to uh, IMP. All right, we don't expect it, but when market throws it our way, we just you know whisper a silent thank you over here to the Mr. Market, and we move on. Yeah, all right, uh, you know we move on with things that we need to do. Now I'm just gonna proceed over here to uh, the platform. Yeah. All right, hi everyone. Now this is my trading app uh, on Think or Swim over here. I'm loading a list for IMP top 10 stocks. So all the counters that you see below the VIX counter on my screen right now, uh, they are the top 10 stocks that we update and we discuss about on a month-to-month -month basis uh, throughout the 2019 over here. Now, if you wanna watch uh, why I picked those stocks, you can head over to uh, the other YouTube videos and their respective links to kind of watch uh, why we have those stocks on our list for top 10 in 2019. Now. Uh, going back into the market for tonight's trading, uh, I just want to load up the SPX for yesterday night's trading. Now, so you can see the SPX open up at about 2820 uh, over here, right, before trading to a peak of about 2850 and falling off in the last one hour, probably due to uh, profit taking for the short term traders uh, who have taken day trade positions. Uh, and that fell off over here to bring the market to close at about 2835 level. Yeah, it's pretty close. All right, 2834.41 is the close. Now, so that represents a, a 20 point up day for the S&P over here, uh, falling out short of the highest point that we have achieved for the day. All right, that's almost 15 points off the high for the day over here. Now, so going to the markets today, uh, it's anybody's guess because if we see the uh, E-mini futures right now, which represents the US market before opening, uh, we kind of see it flat. Yeah, it's a kind of like a non-mover with one point down right now. Uh, but I just want to talk about a little trade that we took yesterday night. All right. Uh, I've initiated to uh, my subscribers over here to buy a put option on Citigroup over here. Uh, everyone know that we have taken a position uh, or a profit on uh, JP Morgan last week uh, as I posted it out on my media over here. Uh, so we're actually going back into the financial sector. I expect more selling to come into place. So, you know, financial stocks are going to lead the way. All right. And Citigroup had a good bounce up yesterday. And we picked a put option to buy on a medium term basis for this stock and I'm going to expect the stock to come off over here in the next one or two weeks uh, if the market is going to begin selling off. All right. And one thing we got really lucky over here, I didn't really expect it to happen so soon, but uh, we actually established our put buy position uh, kind of at the peak of Citigroup's yesterday's trading price over here. All right. We went into the trade uh, around about midnight. 
yeah all right around midnight time over here and that will represent where Citigroup is trading between 65.6 to 65.8 levels and it actually closed lower to close uh, at a final price of about 26 65 26 now that's a good start for uh, the put option that I bought over here on Citigroup but you know this is a medium term position for about the next two three or four weeks over here where I'm looking to make a profit uh, similar to what we did over here with JP Morgan now so uh, this is a normal mover for now I'm just gonna leave it there in the portfolio now another thing to take note of over here is as markets actually recovered all right we will expect the VIX uh, over here the volatility index to actually come off and it did yeah all right okay the weird thing is there's still so much fear in the market but the volatility index actually came off as the market rebounded yesterday yeah all right okay but of course as market closed a little bit weaker over here we see the volatility index spike back up all right now so what's gonna happen in today's market is uh you know, it's anybody's guess. All right, if you're gonna ask me honestly, what do I expect? It's anybody's guess right now. Nobody knows if the sellers, the sellers are gonna start kicking in again. Yeah, all right, or the buyers are gonna have another day in the market of positivity. All right, it, it's all gonna depend on the news channels, right? The news feeds that we're gonna get before the market opens uh, at about 9.30 p.m. Uh, Singapore time over here, or you know, 8.30 p.m. Bangkok time. So we're going to stay tuned for this and see what the markets bring us. I've locked out three profiting trades from last night, which means I'm sitting on cash right now. And I'm definitely looking to deploy them back into the markets. Uh, if we get a good day in the market and prices were to come off for some of the impossible stocks that we're looking at. Now, that's all the update I have for you today. Uh, this is Terence Tan, the Impossible Investor, signing off for today's uh, video over here. Uh, meanwhile, stay safe, stay sane, stay impossible, everyone.